Once you are finished deciding the purpose of your story and drawing the storyline with thumbnails, the next step is to design the characters that will make your story come to life. Designing your characters is a critical point in making your animation, because although your storyline decides what is going to happen in your cartoon, the characters will decide how it will happen. The secret to designing characters that are believable, and that will effectively move your story forward, is to make them appealing. But what exactly is an appealing character? Well, an appealing character is one that has the power or ability to attract, interest, amuse, or stimulate the mind or emotions. Being appealing does not mean simply being cute, cuddly, and or lovable. And you definitely aren't trying to make your main character the only appealing one in the story. Every one of your characters has to have appeal, whether they are heroic, villainous, comic, or cute. An excellent example of this is Joker from the Batman movie, The Dark Knight. He was a sick, demented person, and although he is the bad guy, there was something about him that caught your attention and never let go. And yes, I realize that this course is about animation and The Dark Knight is a movie, but it makes no difference. The theory of creating appealing characters is the same. An appealing character for animation should include an easy-to-read design, clear drawing, and personality development that will capture and involve your audience's interest. But, now that we know what an appealing character is, how do we go about creating one? Well, in order to do that, you first have to know that there are two sides to every character, and both are equally important. Each character has a psychological side and a physical side. You have to know, feel, and understand the psychological side of your character before you can effectively design and animate the physical side. So, before we get into drawing the physical or visual side of your character, we need to go over the psychological side first.